Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the mobile game tutorial. So, last episode we finished up the uh, one underscore training scene, which was our first level. Now, let's actually make a second one. We never actually did it. I know we made the thumbnail and, uh, you know, we, we got this right here, but we never actually created a new scene and uh, saw the whole process of creating that new level. So, so first step is going to be quite a simple one. You are going to hit Control N on the keyboard or create a new scene, up to you. And then we're going to save it right away, so Control S, and we go under, what is it, do, 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 do. scenes, levels, and then we go ahead and create our second level. So, the first one is all about moving around the map and um, ending the level, so knowing how to win. The second one, for me at least, for the mechanic I've implemented in this game, is going to be about swiping the camera. So, um, second is going to be camera tutorial. The one I could have named it, moving tutorial actually, but hey. Um, so once the scene is made, we are going to go ahead and just um, open it up and then what I'll be doing is I'll go back inside the one underscore training and we'll just copy the things we need. So we don't necessarily want to have a new camera with a, um, you know, the uh, just the prefab in general. We don't really want to have to spam that again. So let's just take this. Same thing for the win box. So control click on this one. The whole canvas is the, the worst part, so just go ahead and control that as well, control click it, and the event system is part of that canvas. So we pretty much need everything actually, except the level itself. So once that is done, you are going to either right click or control C, and then move over to the, um, the new scene, the camera tutorial scene, and simply paste that in there. Now I will turn off, well not turn off, I will delete the main camera I already had, and rename this one. There we go. So we pretty much have everything we want for the beginning of this scene. I will go ahead and just reset my camera. So transform at zero, zero, zero. Uh, same thing goes for the rotation. And we are pretty much ready to go. Respawn point um, 0 0.5. I'll leave it there. And then what else do we need to do the level manager is going to take uh, new values in there but as you can see it pretty much saved all the prefab we needed and we're pretty much ready to go ahead and just start dropping some objects in there so it's going to be fairly simple okay so for this one let's get a little bit creative i am going to use some floor tiles uh, like we always do at the beginning and in this one i'd like to introduce the death mechanic in case they do fail so i'm going to take this put no border around it just yet and um maybe try something cool so i'm going to take a border as well where's the border over here put it oh yeah by the way uh let's go ahead and create a new object so we don't make a mess out of our scene so new game object level back to the origin and then i'm going to drag and drop all of this that we just made inside of there right so here's my border and instead of using it to actually guard the edges I will be using it as a pathway, something you can cross on. So here we go, right there. And elevate it just a little bit by 0 0.25, I believe. So that gives us... Oh, never mind. Let's just put it manually, or actually snap on the vertex. That could be a good idea as well. So if I snap on the vertex, it gives me 875, so I'll be using that value. 875. Okay, so that's how I'm going to be using my border in this one, and I will just go ahead, copy this over, maybe add a additional border so we have a longer, or yeah, never mind, not that. Um, I'm going to put that here, and also duplicate this one small, and this is where we learn how to turn the camera. So, I will pretty much make the exact same gameplay prefab, but put it on this side. So if the player didn't um, change the angle of his camera, he's going, to, he's going to have a hard time crossing this, unless he's really good. So let's have a look, and if, if he is really good, then he probably already knows how to swipe the camera. There we go, so at 8, and um, 16 in Z, 90 degrees, and there we go. So I will just go ahead and make a... Uh, a ending place right here and that's going to be the whole level pretty much what I feel like adding some borders 
over here. So in case he's using a boost to go faster, he doesn't actually get penalized for that in case he goes a little bit too far. So I'll be, had, I'll be heading um, borders on both sides here. Maybe lower them a bit. Uh, let's see, right about there. That's minus 0 0.5. And I'll duplicate it, rotate, move it over to this side. And that's pretty much what we get. If I just snap it here. That would be my whole second level. And uh, the win box would obviously be at the end over here. And in this level, the player would learn how to actually fall. And swipe the camera. And something even better we could do is actually block the um, block the camera. So in case you're about there, in case you're about here, actually put an object that is not going to allow you to see the ball. So we could even be raising that right about here or creating some kind of wall that blocks you from seeing the ball. So you really need to rotate else you're not going to be able to see your player whatsoever. So let's just, uh, let's just give it a try. Play the game and that's fairly easy. Now we don't see the player unless we learn how to swipe. And then we can simply swipe, keep going and actually fail. Which is not good. Okay. Well, I like that idea, so I'll be keeping it around. I'll just go ahead and do it not in play mode, so it's going to save. And I'll elevate that, maybe that high. And let's actually use borders, see if this is going to look great. I'll just move them over here. And I'll just elevate that by a little bit, like so. And maybe create a, a whole wall out of it. So um, I was planning on actually having this right about here. Oh, we could use this to snap on vertex, so let's go ahead and do that. Then duplicate this item and then just move it up. Oh, I'm still in the uh, snap on vertex mode. And that's the kind of result we get. I do not dislike it, so I'll be running with that. Take both of these walls and I'm going to move them over here as well. So it looked good. Okay. So that's pretty much the whole result of our level 2. It wasn't that bad to make. And uh, let's just give it a try. So that's how it looks. We could actually be closing these sides as well. It's really up to you. And um, let's, uh, let's go ahead and add the skybox. And I'll just put that down because the wind box is a little bit too high right now and also center it. So 15, that's 16. And another 16, there we go. Oh, it has to be a little bit lower as well, so minus 0 0.5, or I mean 25. There. Now, if we go ahead and just open up the uh, Fantasy Skybox 3, or any Skybox, we can simply drag and drop this inside of our new level. So maybe this would be nighttime, but I'm actually going to go for the um, sunny day, but the second one. That's only for the fantasy skybox though, I mean you can have your own skybox for every single levels. Okay, so once that is completed, what I'll do is I'll actually just move the camera to a certain place where we can see what's going on, so maybe, maybe a nice um, beginning like that. So that's what they're going to see when the level first start. I have my main camera selected. I'm going to go under Game Object and then Align with View. Or there's also a keybind that I never really use, but it's Control Shift F. So now the camera is now assuming that position we had and also assumes the same rotation. Okay. Now if we hit play, we get this view for three seconds and then it moves on to the camera. We can also boost and do pretty much whatever we used to be able to do. Alright, so now what exactly do we need to do um, in terms of the main menu scene? Let's go, to, let's go have a look. So I'm going to open up the main menu, press play, go under level selection, then try to boot the second level. And as you can see it didn't work because this name right here, 2 underscore test, 
does not exist in our scene and it's not even added to the build settings. That means our thumbnail has a wrong name, which is true. We're using right now two underscore tests, so we have to make a thumbnail. Again, I will be going back inside of the camera tutorial scene and then just boot it. I'll, um, I'll take my game scene and just put it right here, right on top, and I will go ahead and pause the game. Once the game is paused, turn off the canvas, and let's actually move our camera somewhere where we can, uh, we can take a nice picture. So, maybe something of the sort, almost the same angle, but we also show that there is a, uh, a way to the right as well. So this could work. Now um, that's not a camera. We have to choose a camera. We have to do a line with view once more. And if we take back our game scene, it should look like this. So I'll go ahead and print screen that. And once that is done, I will add over to my folder. And once that is done, I'll go ahead and add over to my um, folder where I saved the PSD file. So that's for me, that's mobile RB, that's my root folder. So where is it at? Thumbnail base, let's open it up in Photoshop. Okay, once that is done, paste, so you should have the image. Oops, having a bit of a mess here. Oh, it opened all of the um, previous Photoshop files I had. So here it is, that's my photo. I'll go ahead and remove the old one, and that's what we get. So I'll change the text for, uh, we could be changing it for a camera. It doesn't really matter to be honest. So camera like this, and I will just go ahead and save it under my asset folder. So asset, and then artwork, and finally, oh sorry, not artwork, resources, level, and then under level, we change this for two, underscore um, camera training I believe or camera tutorial that's what we name our scene so we gotta make sure that this is this is the same exact name as the scene okay once we are inside of the game I am going to remove the two underscore test we had and turn my camera tutorial uh, thumbnail into a sprite 2d and GUI object now I hit apply, if we go back right here in the main menu, we're still not going to be able to play this because we need to add it to the build settings. But um, you'll notice because once you start, it's going to tell you scene 2 underscore camera could not be loaded because it has not been added to the build settings. Now in order to fix that, you gotta go under file, build settings, and open up the camera tutorial scene, click on add open scene like so and we should already be good to go so let's press play level selection and this is our second level camera has not been completed I press on it and there we go it actually plays the camera scene now we still haven't done um, the uh, gold silver and uh, what is it the bronze time so let's go ahead and do that we're gonna need to go back inside of two underscore camera go under level manager and actually set some time so um, silver time would be in this case uh, I'm going to play it real quick so we know okay so let's try to complete this as soon as we can so I'm going to use a boost and then hopefully I don't fail under five second would be gold time and then for silver let's say um, under 6.5 so I'm going to go inside inside my level manager silver time is um, we said 7.5 and gold would be 5. Or I mean 6.5, my bad. Okay, so one last thing I'd like to do is actually open up my um, registry editor and wipe all the data I've got for this game. Now, this way we can actually see the behavior of this game when you we actually first boot it. So when you press play, as you can see, we cannot actually boot that level and that's exactly how we want it. Now, let's try and complete the uh, the first level really quickly. And uh, our text has disappeared, so that's something we need to fix as well. Now, once we finish the vault, it says, uh, congratulations. Let's go back to the main menu. And as you can see, camera is now unlocked. Let's try to complete it, see if the uh, silver, gold, and um, bronze time still work. 
and I just failed, so that's pretty bad. Let's try once more really quickly. And we learn how to swipe. I'm gonna use my boost, and there we go, that should be silver time, so... Yep, right here. Well guys, that's going to be pretty much it for the episode. I hope you enjoyed, we actually made our second level. Next time, we're gonna make our third level, which is going to be the final uh, tutorial level, where we show how to use the boost. And um, after that, we're gonna go with some uh, fixing of bugs we have. Uh, as you can see right here, the ball is not actually lit, and that's the problem we have. We also have a problem that if we um, just use the joystick like that, it might also swipe the camera, and that's that's really annoying when you're on your phone. And uh, what else? Of course, the text at the end that we just saw right here does not really exist anymore. We're going to be fixing that really shortly. So guys, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you liked. If you did, please leave me a like. And um, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. I'll be seeing you soon. Bye-bye.